In the current scenario, inflation is high and interest rates are close behind. Predicting a recession in 2024 doesn't require a crystal ball. While many are panicking, hoarding cash, and putting investments on hold, they're missing a crucial point. The shrewd wealthy are engaged in a strategic game, and you need the right moves to succeed. Famous investor Warren Buffett believes that a recession is always the best time to make money. Today, we're sharing five strategies for the 2024 recession. These aren't just survival tactics, they're the ticket to thriving and building wealth during a recession. So let's jump right into it. Section 1. The Economic Conditions It's evident that the economic outlook for 2024 is grim. Before diving in, consider viewing this as an opportune moment for strategic investment. While unemployment takes the spotlight during a recession, there's more brewing beneath the surface. Expect not only layoffs but also salary cuts and a dip in asset values like stocks and real estate. This downturn won't be a silent affair. It will send shockwaves through global markets, impacting corporate earnings and consumer confidence. Specific challenges include the possibility of synchronized extreme weather events, severe droughts, and heat waves disrupting food production and straining supply chains. A looming global crisis hints at escalating costs, potential geopolitical tensions, and widespread migration. Current standoffs, such as between China and Taiwan, could significantly impact the semiconductor industry, which is crucial to various sectors. Ongoing conflicts like that between Israel and Hamas are already showing broader implications, with companies like Nokia and Rolls-Royce announcing layoffs in preparation for economic challenges. The job market is undergoing a seismic shift globally. Amid this turbulence, the astute investor recognizes the interconnectedness of global events and positions themselves strategically. It's about being wise, identifying the right moments to act, and, equally crucial, knowing when to stand firm. When these economic conditions hit, seek opportunities. Understanding these dynamics allows you to make informed decisions. Firstly, safeguarding your assets and then strategically choosing where to invest. Section 2. Stock Market Returns As per the Atlanta Fed's jobs calculator, the U.S. is on track to lose 97,000 jobs each month, a significant impact that will shake up investments. Looking at the current stock market, major players and indexes have already dropped by 10 to 20 percent. JP Morgan predicts further declines from our current position. However, this follows the usual pattern seen since 1946, where the average drop during tough times or bear markets is around 30%. The most significant drop occurred in 2009, witnessing a 57% nosedive in the S&P 500. Adding a recession into the mix makes things more uncertain. On average, the market experiences a 34.8% drop during these periods, driven by widespread panic selling. Interestingly, this marks the turning point, the moment when things start to rebound and improve. Observing the S&P 500 over time reveals a trend. After every market crash, it bounces back even stronger. What does this mean for you? Despite challenging times, there are strategic moves you can make to build wealth in the coming months. The upcoming shifts in the market serve as your ticket to make informed investment decisions. This is your opportunity to position yourself for substantial long-term gains. With the right moves, you could emerge from this economic shakeup in a much stronger position than where you began. So let's stay focused and make savvy plays as we navigate these intriguing developments in the market. Section 3. Real Estate We've covered the projected economic outlook for the next year, revealing anticipated shifts, particularly in the real estate domain. Over the past six decades, instances of substantial drops in home prices, exceeding 15%, have been infrequent. Currently, experts on Wall Street predict a potential nationwide decline in housing prices, ranging between 5 to 10%. In a less optimistic scenario, especially if interest rates continue to climb, the drop could extend to 10 to 25 percent. However, it's crucial to keep in mind that the essence of real estate is tied to location. Certain markets are more susceptible than others. A decline in these areas might endure for a couple of years before stabilizing. 
For homeowners with fixed-rate mortgages planning to stay put for the next 5 to 10 years, these fluctuations might not pose a significant concern. Yet for those eyeing property investments or considering new purchases, this could be a favorable time. The market is likely to offer some appealing deals. Looking forward, the real estate landscape unfolds with both challenges and opportunities for those prepared to navigate these shifts. Within this economic transformation, potential investment prospects emerge for those ready to seize them. Section 4. Hold some cash. In times of economic uncertainty, when the financial roller coaster ride is in full swing, having a stash of cash isn't just a savvy move, it's a necessity. While conventional wisdom often touts the benefits of investing your money, there's a certain comfort in having a cash cushion for unforeseen circumstances. Now, cash often gets a bad rap due to its vulnerability to inflation. However, when the stock market and other assets are on a downward spiral, cash transforms into a financial security blanket. It becomes a safe haven for your money, particularly when you might need it urgently, such as during a job loss. Picture having an emergency fund that covers your essentials for a few months, rent, food, bills, and the like. Back in 2018, individuals with money in high-yield savings accounts were actually outperforming those navigating the stock market game. Even major investment managers are now holding on to more cash. This cash serves as a safety net during economic turbulence. And then there's gold. It might not be your top investment choice, but when stocks plummet, gold often gleams brighter. History has proven this multiple times, be it in the 70s or during the 2008 financial crisis. Gold is like that reliable friend who stays steady when others are losing their cool. It might not always steal the spotlight, but in tough times, it can be a genuine lifesaver. According to Joseph Sherman from the Gold Alliance, when stocks and bonds dip, people flock to gold. It becomes their vote against the uncertain economy. When faith in the government or banks wavers, gold becomes the go-to option. However, it's crucial to remember that stashing cash or buying gold might be beneficial for now, but they're not the be-all and end-all for long-term growth. As Warren Buffett puts it, your safe deposit box may house a few ounces of gold, but it doesn't generate anything. For lasting profits, Buffett suggests opting for other productive investments over gold. It's all about balance. Keep some cash, perhaps a bit of gold, but don't forget to think about the long game too. Diversify, spread your risk, and you'll be well prepared for whatever the economy throws your way. Section 5. Golden Opportunity In the face of an impending recession, it's easy to get caught up in the turbulence and lose sight of long-term investment goals. However, this period offers an ideal chance to secure our financial future by sticking to two key strategies long-term investing and diversifying your portfolio. Firstly, continue investing as usual, employing the dollar-cost averaging approach akin to regularly watering your garden. If you're buying shares every month, some months they might be cheaper, others more expensive, but over time, it balances out. Consider buying into a tech company. In one month, shares might be $50, and in the next, they drop to $40, Consistent buying lowers your average cost per share, setting you up for bigger gains when prices rebound. Then there's diversification. While it might seem odd for those in the know, for others it's protection against ignorance. If you're uncertain about analyzing businesses, owning a bit of everything can be a solid approach. For instance, putting all your money into U.S. tech stocks might lead to a rough time if they dip. But mixing it up with international stocks and some real estate spreads out the risk. If you own shares in a tech giant and some property, a dip in tech stocks won't hit you on all fronts. Now is also an excellent time to put in extra effort at work or even start a side gig. It's additional effort, but it accelerates your growth. For instance, if you're a graphic designer, why not dip your toes into freelancing on the side? Or, if baking is your passion, consider selling your delectable treats at a local market. The money you rake in can find its way into your investments. We get it. Navigating through a recession can be a tough sale, but the one on the horizon next year is brimming with opportunities to boost your wealth. Keep consistently investing, even if the returns don't seem immediate. Safeguard yourself by diversifying and putting in that extra effort. It all adds up. By the time the market rebounds, which it inevitably does, you'll find yourself in a much more robust position. In essence, weathering a recession is akin to steering a ship through a storm. 
Stay composed, adhere to your course, and leverage the tumultuous times to your benefit. Don't merely sit back and wait for the economy to stabilize. Plunge into the heart of this recession and seize the opportunities it unfolds. Be proactive in scouting undervalued assets, whether in stocks, real estate, or new business ventures. Adapt, learn, and be prepared to pivot as necessary. So, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful and interesting, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more content.